Hi guys, very good afternoon to all of you. My name is Ajay Pramar and you are watching video number 565. So in this video today, as I promised last time that uh, we will be talking about the MS Access videos. A lot of you have requested me that you guys need to know the Access VBA also. So in this uh, topic, in this video, I'm going to talk something very important. And this is uh, how to close the forms and how to open the forms right so basically i'm talking about the hyperlink from one button to the another button from one form to the another form if you have to jump if you have to open the second form and you want to close the existing form in the axis how you can do that because if you are the mis guy if you are working in the mis reports uh, this requirement is quite common right because when you uh, make the forms uh, you make several forms eight ten forms for the different different you know results and often we need to jump from uh, you know from from the one form to the another form so how you can do that this is very useful tip now before i go further i want to quickly show you this the playlist many of you request how to you know begin the training on this youtube channel so this is how you can watch this is the playlist sequence this is how you can watch the entire playlist sequence and uh, so this channel is dedicated for excel excel vba access and access vba lovers and i have also started the outlook vba series right now a very quick um you know information i want to give you uh recently uh, uh from my personal trainings also i if you, if you just want if you are interested in you know purchasing the video content you can just email me and you you can know further you know you can have the more information about it so this um, uh, all the four topics excel excel vp ms access and access VBA, you can purchase the you know the video content and this is going to be a full-on training on the mis starting from the very basic level to the extreme side of the you know excel or vba or access or access vba whatever i mean right so you can email me and um, you can uh, know the further details over there so let us go and today uh, you know talk about this particular uh, thing which is to how to open the forms okay how to close the forms now this is my uh, one of my database from my personal online trainings guys now if i double click on any of the form for example i just want to show you now suppose this is a form right now this form what what we want to do is we want to go in this form uh, maybe from some another form let's say i go and uh, double click on this form one right this is the form let us say now how you can do that so when you go to this view and you click on the design view uh, then you have to create a button which can take you to that form okay so i'm going to create here the button from the design view so when you go to the design view of any form this uh, you know design option comes now here we have a text box we have a label we have a button we have a tab control there are so many things list box combo box these are all the controls which we use in the access but i'm interested in the command button so this is the button i'm looking for button okay i just go and click on this button and uh, i just go and draw it now this is my already one of the existing forms so don't bother about the rest of the buttons don't look at the other buttons i'm just going to show you how you can open the new form and get this form closed okay now when you draw this command button it always takes you to these categories like find next find record go to first record go to last and you can also have a lot of other things so you you can create this button to add the new records to delete the new records you know and same way you can go and create the report operation so basically the, this is a wizard this wizard automatically comes when you drag your combo button here automatically it comes now if you're somebody who does not know programming so well maybe you can take the benefit of this but again uh, if you know the programming you can fully exploit the ms access features you can you can work you can make them work in your favor right because there is no challenge if you know the programming you can you can uh, go to any extent and you can you know uh, make the things happen in your favor okay so right now i'm not inter interested in any of these options i just go and click on the cancel now i go and click here you know open new form let us say or maybe you can write here go to that form right go to let's say i want to say that i want to go to the form 2 for example so this is how you can give it a name 
Now, when you click here, uh, it, it's always advisable that you go to the property sheet. This is the property sheet. If you don't see the property sheet, no worries. Just select this and click on the property sheet and you will find that the command phone number, right? This is the name which access generally by default, you know, gives. But I'm going to change this to CMD and I'm going to change this to go to. For example, this is the name I want to give it, right? Now, what we have to do is whenever you click on this button, because right now this button looks like this. If you click on the view and go to the form view, this is how, you know, guys, the button is created, but there's nothing, you know, which is going to happen right now because you have not added any VBA program. So we will go back to the view, we will click on the design view and now I make sure this is selected and you would come to know if you have this the same button you have created here, if you get the same button or maybe you can choose from here also. Suppose you want to click on the form. When you click on the form, this the entire form is, uh, entire form is selected. When you want to go, let's say CMT export Excel, when you click on this, you see that this is selected so it is vice versa you can also click on this and that's that's the another method or you can also you know click from here just click on this drop down and you can go to any of the control both the options are great now what i want to do is when i click on this so there is an option called here event now if you do not know anything about the access event access vb event please go and check the playlist uh, access event right access vb event i have uploaded some videos there and by the way there are many videos on the excel vb events as well as you know the channel is uh, majorly uh, having the access access vb excel and excel vb videos right so excel vb events are different and access vb events are different but if you know the any of them the other is very easy for us to learn that right so Access event if you know Excel events, Excel VB events are you know quite easy for you to understand because overall the concept remains the same. Now what is event actually? Event means that on this particular condition the macro will automatically run. It will not wait for your instruction. It will not wait for you to go and click on some button. Now for example here we can see so many events on click, on got focus, on lost focus on double click what if you want to double click here you want to do something what if when i just hover here and you know my focus would be on the button you want to do something you know so there are so many things but right now i just go and click on the on click so please click on this button which is on the extreme right side three dots you can see here right i click here would you like to run the macro would you like to run the some expression builder or would you like to bring some you know vba code here would you like to develop some code here Obviously, I want to develop the code so because this is the video on the access VBA. So I click on the code builder and this is how it will take you to this, you know, environment. Now you can see a bunch of these, uh, the codes I have written, but uh, you don't have to concentrate on that. As I said that this is one of my trainings, the live, you know, the training which I take. So just forget about that. Right now I'm on my go to click and this is where what we need to do. So I need to open the form. So this is what you write, do command do command is written in access as do cmd this is a basically a function which can do lot of lot of amazing things as you can see here add menu apply filter beep browse to cancel many of the events even i do not know right but it has a lot of lot of events now what i want to do is i simply want to open the form so you just type in open and you get to see here you know all the things which comes with the open so open form space bar what is the form name? Well, I want to open, let's say, form 2. So you can write here form 2, but make sure you write that in the double quote. Okay. It is a case insensitive. So it doesn't matter you write in the capitals or the small. Access VBA will welcome you. Access VBA will not create any problem. Right. It is going to hug you. Okay. And it is going to welcome you. So once you have opened this form you want to close the current form so what do you want to do so immediately after opening the form 2 what i'm supposed to do what i'm supposed to do here is do cmd and then i'm going to write here close okay what do you want to close well when you press space bar you want to close diagram form function macro obviously i want to close the form right so this is what i'm going to do and then you just go and press comma which form actually you want to close right now you're going to write here form one i want to close the form one right because my current form is form one can we go and check that so let's go and you know i i go and uh, close this form 
do you want to save the changes yes i want to save the changes so now guys let us say as a an user i open this form one and i go and click on this can you see that the form two is opened and form one is gone it is not there guys it is gone okay if you won't have closed this let's say i just go and comment this line let us say this line never exists now what is supposed to happen let us go and check that so i want to save the changes yes i want to save after doing the changes now let us say i double click on the form one now if i click on this go to form two you see that the form two is open but the form one still exists you know and you know the reason why it is because we did not close the form one so this is what exactly i was talking about right so let me just go and uh, take you to the form one again and if you want to close it please make sure you write this close as you know i'll show one of the line now i also want to tell you because this is also generally i see that whenever you have this kind of a requirement people generally what they do they first close the existing form and then they try to open the new form for example i'm just now i cut this form one line and put it on the top of this form two so basically i'm saying that form one should get closed first and then the form two should open right so if you do sort of this thing for example i go to the form two and i close it again and now let's go to the view of this now you see i'm, I'm going to save the changes as well so let me just go and uh, save the changes okay now you see that guys i'm going to hit on this button now what happens when this button gets you know when you when you click on this button again you have the form one get closed and the form two got opened okay so these two lines are very important right i prefer first go and open the form two and then you know got my form one closed so i hope now you can create these sort of uh, vba codes and you can you know attach all your forms together and you can make a very powerful project so that's it for now i'll see you in my next access vba video thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel god bless thank you bye, -bye.